what to do it, yeah, yeah, skin. Mm -hmm. Put down about that then. Yeah? I'm in my wallet. Put down about that. I'm in my wallet and then you say, this is how you change the back spark plug in our underfit hybrid. Yeah. It's that one already? Yeah, it's that one. You can't call it, it's not really tough. Go on, Alright, this is how we, um, we change the spark plug in our underfit hybrid. This is how these are the screws. The pull. The wiper bead. You have to remove the wiper bead also. Two clips. And then um, you have some 10 bolts. We have to remove to get this panel off. One there and one round there. so far so guys if you're trying to attempt to do it you have to ensure so you have all the right tools to get this thing pulled because it's a little bit a challenge but you can do it once you start A lot of pulling but if you don't feel like you want to do it by yourself you can also contact the mechanic all right but we're just giving you a small example how to do it all the screws get into all the screws then a lot of screws to pull should be it. Someone, some people would see it and say it's very hard to do this. It's a little bit challenging but once you put your mind to it you will actually get to the plugs. You understand me? So but you have to be careful what you're doing and ensure that um, ensure that all the screws go back in it right place when you finish right. ensure so you have a clean, clean idea of what you do right. all right so should be able to see the plugs from here so A little bit challenging, same way. Let us see what we can do also to um, make it a more make it more easier for you. Moving the Kyle box. Moving the Kyle box. Ten, ten um to pull the the, the, the kite back. Carry four screw because it's four plug around the back. So in all this vehicle carry this vehicle carry eight plugs. Hybrid. 
on the fit. So it's a four on the front and four on the back leg. So this is one of the Kyle Pops. This is number one or number two. Let us see if it have any numbers. Well, I'm just seeing a lot of codes. I'm not seeing any numbers. So, from its back, you will say, you will say five. If you start from from right here, one, two, three, four. So that would be five. So you need a 5 8 socket because we're going to remove the plugs. So 5 8 pull the plugs out. Oh. Come around this side to see if I can see any movements. So it's a great thing it can it can actually comes out it's been a while since this plug don't change actually two years never let your plug run that long regardless if the vehicle is new once you're servicing ensure you remove all the plugs along with the aisles you might never know if you realize so your vehicle start bucking and losing power Whenever you press the gas, it intends to fold, fold up. You know, it's it, it, it's plug. All right, um, you need a magnet to remove the plug from the hole because you know it's, it's very deep. Actually, it's in the back, so it's kind of a little bit challenging to reach. So, you have to use a magnet to get the plug out. Or maybe you can use the, the five eighths, push on it, and pull it up. Maybe you can try this and see if it come up. You can try the, 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 the push on it and take it up. Use the Kyle pack to just brace it and take it up. Good, very good. That's it. So you see this one is very very finished. <laughs> Burned right out to the core. Don't ever let the plug reach the yellow mark like this. To send a lot of message or a lot of readings inside the car so try your best not to let the yellow mark start to come brown that means your plug is very all right moving on to the next one Calvin, I think this can be um, converted like this. The little tip here. You can screw off and put on, on the next one. Okay. 
that's the difference ensure so you get the plugs that um that came from the car ensure you have the same plugs because all of them have different have different codes and different um tips all right One down, three to go. Most people take take a lot of time to change their plugs because it's, it sometimes can be difficult, very difficult, just to reach these back ones. Always remember this engine is very very short. Actually, the hood of the vehicle is very short, so you have no space to do what you want to do really. And the engine full right out no space but he's getting there from from ages <laughs> look at that oh my god this person really really have a way on this road
here that you could see what is transpiring so we are down to the second plugs from the back but come to think of it most people is not aware of um these vehicle carrying eight plugs some people think um, these vehicles just carry like um, four plugs to the front but on the fit most of them carry eight plugs because these vehicles are hybrid so I have to ensure a check to see how much plug you need to carry try to know your vehicle as much as possible that might help you out in the long run Rangers Rangers, Rangers Yeah, come in. Look at this. Down to the last one. So get into it. As I say to you who is trying to um remove plugs from your vehicle, it this back one might take a little bit of time. A little bit of challenge, but if you put your minds to it, you will always um, succeed. Alright, just take your time, ensure you don't break anything or pull off any wires, just take your time.
one by one. Ensure all the hens are plugged on. Generate the current. Alright, so we're done to the last one. Just putting on the coil packs. Thank you.